You're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back. Our next organization participating in East Texas Giving Day this year, KSWP radio station out of Angelina County, Michelle Ross, joining us this morning. When you see call letters on the prompter, it's so yes. easy to want to say KETK, -E but I'm glad I got it right. That's never <laughs> happened to me before, ever. <laughs> I always get the call letter right. Oh, anyway. goodness. All right. Well, thank you for being here with us this morning. No problem. Thank you. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about KSWP and uh, what all y'all offer for your community. Well, KSWP is a Christian music radio station. We've been in the Lufkin Nacogdoches area for 38 years. Our signal spans from like Livingston all the way to Tyler mm -hmm. and then to Shreveport. And so we serve a large area and um, we just provide encouragement and hope. Obviously, we want to connect people to God and um, let them know that he cares, let them know that we care and also connect them with churches and nonprofits in our community that are doing good things and uh, just kind of keep everybody connected. Now, is this y'all's first year taking part in East Texas Giving Day? I think it's our second year. Okay. It's our second year to do East Texas Giving Day, and we're excited about it, and we have a big goal this year. Well, tell me about that goal on how much we're looking to raise this year. Well, we set a big goal for $50,000 this okay. year because we really need a station vehicle. So since the pandemic, we want to be out more than we have been in the past and really connect with the listener and our community. But in order to do that, you need transportation. Mm -hmm. So we want a vehicle and we want to be able to equip it with remote equipment so we can broadcast remotely and, you know, get it wrapped and logoed and all that other kind of stuff because we just really want to be in the community more. Research says that since the pandemic, more people are looking for hope than ever before. And so we want to be there to tell them about about the hope of Jesus. Well, especially uh, since the pandemic, I think a lot of broadcasting stations, be it TV, radio, a lot of the uh, media like that, uh, forms of media have been uh, hit hard, uh, especially in the financial area. So I don't think 50,000 is a lot to ask, especially when uh, your listeners are gonna come through for yes, you, right? Yes, they are. Right, we're just gonna speak it into existence yeah. there. Um, so. What are some other programs? You mentioned to me in the break one that uh, y'all are offering for the community that y'all work on. Also in our second year is what we call CSERT. It's the Church Community Emergency Response Team. And so what we try to do is invite churches and different organizations. So part of our um, team right now is like the Salvation Army, the East Texas Food Bank, the National Weather Service, uh, the Sheriff's Department. Anybody that would be front lines if a storm should happen. So we try to have like a, a team meeting in May. So we're all connected. We have like a, a connected Facebook group and a text group so that when a storm happens or say hurricane season comes around and we need to contact one another. It's so much easier if we have that information before the storm mm -hmm. happens, because once the storm happens, everybody's all crazy, but we want to be able to get the information. Hey, here's where you can volunteer. Here's where you can get water. Here's where, you know, you can give blankets, like when the snowstorm hit. Um, we just want to be able to be that communication hub for different agencies. So. All right. Well, we're excited about that. I know. Well, I do want to point out that uh, you can give any time, right? It doesn't just yes, have you to can. be on giving day. As a nonprofit, you can give any time, uh -huh. any time. And you can do that at our website, kswp.org. All right. I think that's a good note to end it on right there. We will awesome. get that link Thank posted you for on, on our website, ketk.com as well. We appreciate y'all coming in and good luck on that goal. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be that hard to reach. Truly. Thank you. All right.